am cooking with Fat Soul Foods. Uh, I am Fat Soul Foods. Um, you may have heard Miss Jakarta um, before, and that name is associated or affiliated with um, Jakarta JS Clothing, because I'm the major designer uh, for that company, and Bark and Bistro, where I make specialty dog treats. And I'm always like, well, she's doing food, and she's doing fashion, and she's doing dog treats. Well, that's because I wear many hats, <clears throat> and these are all my passions. So, um, just a little bit about myself. Um, I am here in uh, El Paso, Texas, and I am originally from Detroit, but my roots for cooking is deep embedded in the South. My grandmother was from Mississippi. Uh, my grandfather was from Louisiana. Uh, my grandmother, my maternal grandmother was from, um, her side of town was from Alabama, so you know, Cooking, <clears throat> Southern foods are deeply embedded in my DNA. So let's go ahead and get started, all right? All right, so what we're making today, um, <clears throat> my sons and my family wanted a non-traditional Thanksgiving. Because normally you have turkey and dressing and greens um, and yams and et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, they wanted to kind of keep it simple which is fine because it saves a lot of uh, time with me cooking. So what we're going to make today is one of my mother's recipes excuse me, that she would make when I was younger. And it was uh, her chicken and broccoli casserole. So what we need for the chicken and broccoli casserole, you're going to need broccoli, all right? And that's about two and a half uh, floors of broccoli. Um, you're going to need chicken breast. Can you see that? And that's my son in the back. But chicken breast. And I did a clean, <clears throat> a vinegar clean wash. Um, the vinegar clean wash is to get all the parasites out. Um, so we have that. Then you have uh, cheese. Now I have, like, this is a, a two pound bag of cheese. And this is of Kobe Jack. You can get the cheese of your choice. But um, this is the flavor um, that, I'm sorry, this is the type of cheese that we, you can use uh, cheddar, shredded cheddar, you can use <clears throat> mozzarella, whatever your, your preference is. And these are my boys in the back playing around, so excuse the background noise. And then we use Texas Farm stuffing, okay? All right, and we're going to show you how to use this when we layer uh, the casserole. Hey, boys, stop it. I'm recording. Stop. <laughs> And then we use Campbell's, see that? Cream of chicken. And you wanna make sure you get the 22.6 uh, uh, ounce of, uh, it's the family size cream of chicken, and then you need uh, cream of celery, okay? So, um, <clears throat> what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna steam the broccoli. And the broccoli doesn't take no longer than about maybe 10 to 15 minutes to steam because you don't want it too mushy. You still want it to have a crunch um, because it's going into the oven. And when we put it in the oven, you want that to go on 350. So let me go ahead and get a pot. And we're gonna go ahead and fill it with water. You're also gonna need a lid to go on top of the broccoli um, when it's steaming. Okay? Yay! Yay! And that's my little one. That is King. He kind of rules the household. Come here, King. Say hi. He's in his diaper. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> okay, so that's enough water. You don't want to put too much water in it because you just want to have enough to boil and steam it. Okay? All right, you want to put that on high? Thank you, Georgia. All right. So we're going to go ahead and, this is a little bit too much water. We're going to dump a little bit of this water out. Okay. Now, with the chicken, <clears throat> I put a little vegetable oil in the chicken. All right, you want to go ahead and we're going to cook the chicken. 
Now, it depends on what type of seasonings that you like. It depends. Um, I love Goya um, seasoning. Uh, you can also use, I use onion powder, Goya onion powder. All right, you can use garlic powder. I love thyme. I love thyme on pretty much any type of poultry, meat. Um, I stopped eating meat about six months ago, but to, on my veggie burgers beyond me, I love thyme. Put, pretty much put thyme on anything, and it's a pretty good herb to use. Black pepper. <laughs> I love turmeric. I cook with turmeric. Uh, I just sprinkle a little bit because it is a cancer-reducing uh, spice, and um, it is also is a cancer-reducing food, so I also I use just a little bit of turmeric. And these are things that you can sprinkle on uh, your chicken. And maybe just a little bit of Old Bay seasoning, okay? So we're going to go ahead and season that. We're going to go ahead and fry the chicken up. And once the chicken is uh, pretty much golden brown, not too brown, and the broccoli um, has been cooked, <clears throat> we're going to show you how to mix the soups together, we're gonna to warm it up and then we're gonna go ahead and combine to make our casserole. I meant to mention for um, all the seasons, you just wanna sprinkle. Um, when I season my food, I don't have like a, a, a measurement. <clears throat> That's how I learned how to cook. I just pretty much just sprinkle, okay? But if you have to use an exact measurement for everything, I would say don't use any more than one fourth to one half teaspoon of uh, measurement for all your spices. Um, once it's cooked, you taste, and then you know what to add. So with using like about one fourth to one half teaspoons, you know from there, I'm gonna get back, baby. You know from there what you need to add, and using that amount, you're not using too much to over saturate or over uh, season the food. Okay. So I also wanted to mention. Um, so I'm right now I'm searing my chicken. Um, I guess I only use maybe about a little bit. I maybe use maybe about one third a uh, cup of oil. Maybe a little bit less than that. And you can use olive oil, vegetable oil, but I'm using vegetable oil. But I meant to mention for my chicken, for uh, my chicken um, that I am <clears throat> searing, and, and it just has like a kind of like a yellowish, and that's because it kind of reminds you of curry chicken, but and that's because of the turmeric. Um, but you want to use about maybe well, I use almost three pounds, but you can use like two breast. <laughs> Two breast fillets, two to three to breast fillets, depending on how much chicken um, you want to put in your casserole. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this cooked up. Um, the broccoli, uh, it is steamy. We're gonna let it go ahead and steam for maybe about 10 more minutes. And then once we're finished, we're gonna go ahead and drain. It's not a lot to drain off the chicken, but we're still gonna go ahead and drain it and we're gonna go ahead and get started with our casserole. See you in a bit. All right, we are back. So, <clears throat> we have finished cooking our chicken. All right. And this is how our chicken looks. Like I said, it has a yellow cast to it because uh, we put, I put turmeric on it. And like I said, the seasons that you pick, it's the seasons of your choice. You don't have to, um, scoop down a little bit. The seasons that uh, you pick it, it, it's the seasons of your choice. Whatever your palate is uh, used to. Okay, so. We have our broccoli, we steamed our broccoli. And that's my son, Kylan. He's gonna help us with the layering. Come on, Kylan, say hi. Hi. He's gonna help us uh, with the, he's gonna help us with the, uh, the casserole. Okay, so um, we have our cream of celery. And that is the 10 ounce, 10 and a half ounce. And then the cream of chicken, which is like almost a 20, three ounce uh, can. So uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna pour our soups in pour. the pot so we can warm them up because we just wanna warm them up just a little bit um, just to mix the uh, the blends of the soup together, okay? I'm using a spatula to go ahead and just scrape this out, all right? And then we're gonna go ahead and mix in the, the cream of celery. Okay, 
You don't have to mix it separately or warm it up separately because it's, it's going to be, you want it to be melted and combined together. Yeah. The spatula is actually too hard for me to be sticking in this because it's tearing up my spatula, but in this can. But we're going to mix it up. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the stove and just put it like on medium just to mix it together a little bit. So we're back. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the casserole at this point, okay? Let's see, let's adjust this camera. Let okay, that's okay. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna layer. First, we need to layer. The stuffing, okay? Stuffing. All right, so Kylan, go ahead and dig in there and sprinkle okay. the stuffing at the bottom. So we're using Texas Farm Herb <clears throat> Season Stuffing. Okay, you see how he's he's layering that? All right, that's enough, babe. Put a little bit more on there. Could you eat one of these right now? Yeah, you can taste one, but you don't want to eat and cook. Okay, that's germs that's being passed. So you see how we have the crumbs layered at the bottom. And then, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and layer our broccoli. We steamed it, okay? We're gonna go ahead and layer our broccoli on top of the bread crumbs. Hold on, Kyla. I'm gonna let you do the cheese. Okay, you're gonna spread it out evenly. Can you? Like that a little bit now. So we're gonna spread it out evenly. Kylan, Kylan. Okay. See how we're doing that? And then what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're going to sprinkle our chicken. Okay. And you just wanna spread it out evenly. Okay. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna take the soup mix, which is the celery and the chicken, and we're gonna go ahead and drizzle it, okay? And this is such a quick and easy dish to make, it really is. And it definitely goes a long way. It's very fulfilling. It's something quick to make, especially when, and we're making it for Thanksgiving, but it's easy to make, especially when you know you don't feel like, um, you know, doing nothing, <clears throat> doing a big meal. Okay, now, yeah. Kylan, go ahead and sprinkle the cheese. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle the cheese. Grab a big handful, honey. And like I said, you could use the cheese of your choice. We're using uh, Kobe, I, well, I found which it is Kobe and Monterey. No, this is not cheddar. Okay. You want to make sure, Kylie, you get it on around, you want to get it around the edges, okay? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. It's okay. Okay. Now that we have the cheese evenly distributed, then we're going to go ahead and layer it again, okay? So you're just going to continue to layer. So we're going to go back in. Uh oh. Layer it once again with this. With this, yep. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead and layer it another time. And then after we've layered it one, the, sec the second time, we're going to make sure we top it with the stuffy mix, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do this. Put the oven um, on 350. So it should be preheated already as you're preparing your meal. And then once we go ahead and get everything layered, we're gonna go ahead and show you the finished product before and after it goes into the oven, all right? Hi, so um, we are finished with the casserole. Um, it's not done yet, because we have to put it in the oven, but look at that. 
All right, I made actually two of them because I had a lot of chicken and broccoli left over. A lot of times when I get uh, the chicken and broccoli, I get a little bit too much. So that's okay, because I have big growing boys. <laughs> um, so I made a big dish and a, a smaller dish. Look at that. So we're gonna put it in the oven on 350, um, and um, it's going to go in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes until the cheese is melted. You don't want it to burn. It'll have a golden crisp. Uh, top to it and we'll go ahead and show you the aftermath. Bye. Hi, Fat Soul Foods here. So we have completed our chicken and broccoli casserole. Look at that. It's so golden brown and it just smells so good. All right, so I made two of them because I had a little bit extra left over. So um, that is the completion of our chicken and broccoli casserole. All right. If you uh, like what you have seen, go ahead and subscribe to our page. If you have any questions, leave comments below. Or you can always email us at Fat Soul Foods, which is F A T S O U L F O O D S at yahoo.com. Bye.